Namaste. We were discussing an interesting aspect of our musical compositions, the Arthalankaras. In the previous episode, we have examined the definitions and examples of Upama, Rupaka, Ananvaya and Ulekha Alankaras. Let us have a look at some more Alankaras and their examples. Drishtanta is uh, one of the important Alankaras in literature. Drishtanta is Bimba Prati Bimba Bhava. One or more ideas explained as the reflection of the main idea. This can be seen in many Tyagaraja Kritis. One example that I can think of is uh, Mi Valla Guna Dosha Memi in the Raga Kapi. He says, O Rama, merits and blemishes are not yours. They are my own making. If the gold is not of the required standard of purity, why blame the goldsmith? If one's daughter is unable to bear the labor pains, then why blame the son-in-law? If one has failed to perform charity and worship in the previous birth, then why blame the gods now? Sandehalankara is when a doubt is expressed. Is this the face of a girl or a beautiful lotus? Is Sandehalankara. Kanakadasa, in one of his compositions, expresses a doubt as to whether God is in Maya or Maya is in God, whether sweetness is in the sugar or sugar is in the sweetness, whether the building is in the space or the space is in the building. Similar uh, expressions can be seen in uh, Tyagarajas, Ni Balama, Nama Balama and uh, Sandeha Munu Deerpavaya. Yamaka is another interesting uh, Alankara which involves repetition within the same stanza of uh, words or syllables which are similar in sound but different in meaning. In the 13th Ashtapadi by Jayadeva, Kathita Samayepi Hari Rahaha Na Yayau Vanam Mama Vipala Mida Mamala Rupa Mapi Yauvanam Krishna did not turn up at the forest at the agreed time. My pure uh, beauty and youth have been rendered futile. Here in the first line it is Yayau Vanam and in the second line it is Yauvanam. Both are sounding similar but they mean different due to the difference in splitting. Another example is uh, in Tyagarajas Anupama Gunambudhi in the line Janaka Ja Matavai Janaka Ja Matavai Shlesha is skillful wordplay uh, wherein a word or a group of syllables can be understood in two different ways. In uh, most Dikshitar Kritis, the Ragamudra is incorporated through the technique of Shlesha. In uh, Ramachandram Bhavayami, The descriptive meaning of the uh, phrase is Lord Rama who resides in uh, the city of Saketa. But Dikshitar has very intelligently incorp incorporated the Raga Mudra Vasanta within the word Nivasantam. Another example is uh, in Sri Parvati Parameshwarau. So there are two different words, Chidbimbau, Leela Vigrahau. The last letter of the first word which is Bau and the first letter of the second word which is Lee. They join together and they indicate the name of the Raga which is Bauli. Friends, aren't our musical compositions replete with uh, so many literary devices like these 
which enhance their beauty. In addition to the important ones delineated above, we can identify many more Arthalankaras like uh, Utpreksha, Atishayokti, Nidarshana, Viroda Bhasa and so on. It is just that we need to develop deeper insights into our compositions to be able to identify them apart from just learning singing or listening to them. I hope you all enjoyed both these episodes. I will see you all again in my next episode with another exciting topic. Until then, Namaste, Shubhamastu.